London taxis are as British as Bowler Hats and Big Ben, but the latest models coming off this assembly line are unlikely to ever touch an English road. The meticulous hand-welded construction used on these vehicles has forced London Taxi International to seek ways to cut costs and expand production. This sprawling factory just outside Shanghai was the perfect fit. Well, China is obviously the, the largest growing and uh, will, is the second largest auto market in the world. Um, but we also get advantages from our supply base here. Uh, we're looking at resourcing all of the parts to China, which adds advantages for the UK company so they can actually purchase lower cost parts and be more competitive in the uh, taxi markets, both in the UK and around the world. Production for black cabs that will drive the streets of London will continue at a factory in Coventry, England. But the Chinese-built models will go to destinations like Singapore, Dubai, and Moscow, places that covet the image associated with the high-topped taxis. And by the way, that tall roof was designed with a specific purpose in mind. Well, I don't carry it everywhere, but I do use it as a prop to explain why we have such a high roof in the vehicle. And it all generates from the original uh, history of the vehicle and the culture within London that the vehicle had to be uh, accessible for gentlemen to wear their bowler hats without moving them while traveling. So uh, to explain what a bowler hat is in China, I always carry one around me. London Taxi International will retain control of the operations, assuring the sophistication and elegance remain inherently British. As for the bowler hats... I actually um, purchased the bowler hat in the UK, in London, um, but I was surprised to see when I actually looked at the label that it was made in China. John Belmont, The Associated Press.